Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis in which I truly believe this is going to be one of the best videos I have ever made for you on this channel. Why? Because I'm going to be giving you all of the information that you need to be consistently and profitably trading Bitcoin alongside me right now. Of course, I'm going to be picking up right from the last video that I made where we were obviously talking about the triangle fake out. I was warning you of that triangle fake out and how we're going to be looking for a short trade if we fake out to the high first, which is of course what happened when we add back on the technical analysis and how that led me into the short trade that I took. Again, everything that I'm talking you through in these videos, I'm always putting my money where my mouth is. I'm going to be taking those trades. And here you can see just a few days later, that $61,000 profit on that short trade that I took and warned you all I was going to be taking. I told you exactly what I was going to be doing, put my money where my mouth is. This is obviously on the chart challenge, chart champions challenge account, 25 Bitcoin starting on that account. We're now up to 122 Bitcoin in around three months of trading. That's around 100 Bitcoin made from the starting capital. And every day we're coming in here, making everywhere between 50 and $150,000 a day consistently on this account. It's going really well right now. I want to talk you through exactly what I'm looking for next because this trade is still live and I know many people managed to get in that one with me, which I'm, of course, very pleased about. So let's begin. Um, yeah, for, so first of all, we obviously have to be acknowledging where we rejected from. And I always say this, when you've got no analysis on your chart, right, this is a gamble. You don't know what's going to be happening next. You're really going to be losing a lot of money. You put on the technical analysis, you do the hard work, and then everything becomes clear. Everything becomes clear. Suddenly, you're able to do the magic. Yeah, you're able to predict where price is going to be going next. You know, you have to do your analysis, place the alerts, trade the reaction. We had that alert ready and waiting waiting on that daily. Okay, that was obviously set on the 4th. That video that I gave you was on the 5th. If you had paid attention to the alerts, we, we had that one ready and waiting, obviously sat at that daily. If you're in the champions, I actually want to play this real quick 5, 10 second clip for you just to show you a question that I had about this, uh, this level and my answer to this. Okay, so let's just play this. CC in the daily, the question is essentially, is this a good short trade? And my answer would be yes, let's definitely have an alert here. I agree, this is a very acceptable place to be aware of a potential short trade. So you can see real simply, my answer here is yes, it's definitely a place that we want to be ready and waiting for. That is I'm never gonna... um, the daily in the CC. So daily on the CC, a level we're ready and waiting for, right? As I go on to say, you want to see the reaction off of this. If you go straight through the level, there's obviously no trade. If you get the reaction that you want, of course, then we get this short trade set up. And this is the reaction we wanted, right? We hit into the level, we get our rejection. Thus, as you can see here, putting my money where my mouth is, always will be doing that, always will be doing that. I took that short trade along with many other people, as I love to see other champions getting on, the, getting in this one with me. You can see, oh my God, the triangle breakout long now, of course, short 20,147. This is another one that I really liked. Um, another one, you know, going through the steps, number five, stop loss to entry, that's short from 20,128. So you can see myself and the champions, we were ready and waiting for that short trade entry. It come, we got the reaction, we took the trade, no hesitation, no fear, $60,000 profit a few days later. You know, that's what we're after in this game. We're here for the profits. At the end of the day, we're here to, you know, win our trades. OK, and I want to talk you through the next, you know, what happened next year. We obviously had that move back down to 19700, a rock of a support at the time for another subsequent bounce to the upside. Of course, in the end, putting in a lower high. And for me, my, you know, my uh, uh, trade here was simple. There was no actual trade for me here. I was still in this short from higher across several different of my accounts. Managed to get this one on my sculpt trade, swing trades because the reaction was fire. I didn't need anything else. So for me, there was no trade to be had here. It was a simple case of being patient. In the end, we come back into the triangle. We come back into the triangle and then it kind of looked like, well, here's then the retest. Why was this? Because of the ES. If you pay attention to the ES, the ES fell down heavily. We're talking about three hours before Bitcoin followed. We all know the correlation between the ES, which is the stock market, and Bitcoin. We were paying attention to, or I was paying attention to this. 
And it's something that, of course, we had to be paying attention to. As I want to show you this really interesting post. This was actually a post from my Read Only Coaches channel. You know, all know how much of a gold mine this is, right? Where I basically said, well, I didn't basically, this is the exact words from my Read Only Coaches channel. Overall, personally, I have a bearish bias and believe new low will be made on the, you know, obviously referring to the Bitcoin chart here. I have the bearish bias. I'm expecting lower. <laughs> off of this 19700 support we're talking about half an hour later we start to break down heavily 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 it's like what I, it's like i say here you know is there anything else you need to know when i come out here and i say i believe what i believe is going to be happening you know you literally have somebody running a market on your team telling you exactly what they're going to be looking for you know, there's only one outcome, I think. And I think you all know, you all know what was going to be coming after I publicly, well, not only say publicly, but in the group, say exactly my bias and what I'm ready and waiting for. It's that exactly as predicted, heavy move to the downside. Obviously, all stemming from that perfect rejection off of 21 to 3 being the daily level, right? So I want to just read you through this. And of course, you're going to learn and educate this. I will be moving, of course, what's happening next. But I always like to talk you through this last section of the chart since the last video, really so you can see what I'm doing every day. You want to be making the same profits that I'm making, where well, you need to be on my level of understandings of the market, right? That's why I'm giving you my understanding, insights, and knowledge. I'm sharing with that you now. I'm sharing it with you now, all of the insights that you need to get on my level, right? So pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Okay. So like I say to my team here, um, obviously on Sunday, I was ready and waiting for that fake out. I was ready and waiting for the fake out. It's what I talked about for an hour. My only setup that I was looking at during that live stream was a fake out, be it a fake out to the downside and rise or a fake out to the upside and drop. And obviously we got the fake out to the upside first. Thus we're ready and waiting for that drop. There was no long setup, of course, because we dropped so fast. Even if we were looking for a swing fire pattern of the low, that never came. Yeah. Hold on to those short, short and chill. So we got the upper fake out of the triangle yesterday to give the short at the daily. Some chop today, but in, of course, never took out the high. The chop I'm referring to is this right here. Bit of chop during the day, but we never took out the high, never took out our stop losses. And now the breakdown, as talked about during the Sunday's live stream, fake out top and then the dump. Of course, this was the entry on the challenge account that I'm taking trading that along with my team. Okay, boom. And there we can see new lows made between 18 and 800. And this is another thing that I pointed out earlier in the day as it was happening, you know, the ES dropping going into the into the um, US Open, right? Where Eagle was actually live. Eagle was live talking people through the drop as it was happening. Yeah, you, you wanted the, like the live trading, your live analysis. Well, you're getting that now. We've added that in. We listened to your feedback. And here you can see exactly what happens. Okay, you had the triangle fake out. For me, this this next retest wasn't a trade. And then we had that hard drop to the downside, right? And then for me, I really simply said exactly what I was looking for next. I'm going to short and chill until we get a swing failure pattern or the failed auction on the 30th of June. Let me just add something on for you then. Let's go out and put on a marker of the 30th of June. Okay, the 30th of June is coming in here. Okay, coming in here. Let's add on this marker then sh together, shall we? Okay, you've just added on that marker along with me. 30th of June low. Let's zoom in and see what happened. Bam, with the wick, instant bounce to the upside. Yeah, let me just remind you when I posted this in my group. Yesterday at 3 p.m., I'm telling my team, short and chill until we hit that low. This is what happened, ladies and gentlemen. On the 7th of September at 3 a.m., we hit the exact level that I'm ready and waiting for with a wick for an instant bounce. Ladies and gentlemen, I've told you once and I've told you again, CC Pool, I mean, you can make your own decisions here. Are CC Pool running the market right now? Are we running the market? Able to call and know where the exact highs are going to be put in and putting our money where our mouth is and taking these trades. You know, you can see the predictions. This is a prediction from the Champions live stream. Run up take that high, drop down, take that low, get that bounce underway. Again, this is not necessarily a reversal bounce, but we're, I at least know that upon taking this low, we're going to be looking for that bounce and then either the reclaim or just a subsequent move to the downside, right? To the lower daily level. So it's not like, I don't want you to be thinking, to, I, 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 actually, let me just clear something up for a second. I don't want you to be sat here thinking, I 100% know what's going to happen. I, I'm like necessarily like running the market in that regards. Of course, I'm not trying to portray that because that's, that's not true. What I do know, though, is levels to trade, e.g., 
as soon as we start breaking down here, I'm like short and chill. And this is the level you want to be waiting for. E.g. I know I'm literally telling everyone, don't take a long here. Don't try and tell long here. Don't long here. Don't long here. Don't long here. Don't long here. Wait till the level that I told you here, you instantly get a profitable long trade, right? So I know the levels that you've got to be ready and waiting for. I give you those levels that you've got to be ready and waiting for. And then it's up to you, okay? based off the reaction here. That's clearly the level that I gave. That was the reaction. Well, we had a massive move to the downside. This is the level that I clearly gave. That's a nice reaction. You had another subsequent move to the upside. Whether you shorted this, whether you long this, short here, stop loss at entry, you're in massive profits. If you long this, you can have your stop loss at entry or in profits. Whatever happens, you've made profit, right? That's what we're in this for. We're in the game of well, I'm in the game of just winning trades. I get I get a thrill off of the fact that I win the trades. This money for me is honestly totally not important. I couldn't care less whether it's 60,000, 600 million. It's not really a problem. It's not a thing for me anymore. Money's a, money's a number on a screen. I'm in this for the thrill of the hunt. Like I love the feeling of having the analysis drawn out and then it coming in as that is predicted. I, I love that. I absolutely love it. It's not even about the bragging. It's just like, I love this. This is a video game for me and I love to be the best at the game. I love being the best at the game. It really, really gives me a big thrill. So yeah, no, and, and especially not just that, it's also then also seen everybody coming alongside me and making the money, right? This week, got back to the charts and the only thing I had to do was watch your video yesterday. Thank you, man. Love you as always. Another guy just coming in, watching the video, getting the information, winning trades for me. This was a comment that I absolutely loved. This was obviously talking about that triangle fake out as predicted, had the alert, saw the reaction, took the trade, yeah? Nice short trade there. It's like this guy said, um, JJ, I don't think you realize how many mouths you are feeding with this information. Priceless respect to CC Pool. I mean, that's what I that's what I'm doing this for, right? I'm in here not for my monetary gains, but to see literally when like it's like, you know, I don't stop and process this information enough, but I've the amount of positive, really amazing comments. So many people made a lot of money on that trade, knew to wait for the fake out. Why? Because I, I told you exactly what to do, right? And so to see all the positive comments off of the back of that has been really, really, really special. I'm very happy with that. And, you know, it's like I say here, all you need to do is like pay attention. We knew the triangle was coming days in advance. I warned you to take care and how to trade the short. All you had to do was pay attention and you in mad profits once again. I give you the setups in advance time and time again. I love you team. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love you team. I know some people love to come in here and, you know, talk a load of lies. Hey, hindsight analysis, X, Y, and Z. You know, so I even had someone the other day saying, hey, Dang was a market maker, so he's going to counter trade his own followers, right? It's just, this is just totally crazy stuff. You know, the hate is coming left, right, and center when you're on the top of the game. They'll literally talk a load of rubbish. Well, all I can say to the haters is, how, how am I counter trading people when I'm giving people the exact setups to be taking ahead of time and then exactly as predicted? And why would I counter trade? You know, I'm not counter trading how, you know, and also the thing like, of the hindsight analysis, once again, I'm giving all of this ahead of time, telling you exactly how to be looking at the charts all ahead of time. None of this is, is hindsight. And if you really believe this, I mean, you, you've probably got some sort of, um, you know, some sort of agenda to run on me now. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep on trading my charts, focusing on myself. So, I mean, so then well, that's, I've talked you through the rejection, the short trade, where we're looking for next, right? And of course, in my opinion, if you took that short, you'd have hit take profit one on that trade. Why? There was obviously a few reasons. The swing flow pattern of the exact level that I was giving you. And there was confluence with this level. When you look at the you know official target that you would have had over this triangle, Okay, this triangle obviously did break to the downside, and you can see that that target comes in right around that 18,500 as well. So you've now hit the target of the triangle, okay, and you've hit that swing failure pattern. So now there's a few things that we'll be looking for next. Either really simply a lower term time frame range, which would be my favorite scenario, right? So e.g. a range that continues on here locally. And that would mean like something along like this lines where we're just looking to trade this range, right? Just trade this range until it breaks. If that range breaks to the upside, we have this daily level, but I have removed it off my chart, but I'm still remembering that daily level, right? So we still have that daily level. If we reclaim that, then yeah, we're going to be looking up to reclaim the triangle. That would look like a really positive bounce from the low. Alternatively, we continue this range here. We cannot reclaim the daily and we really simply 
come back down and test this low once more where we can look for a swing failure pattern and another rise trade the range here or we just look down towards 18,000 next then towards obviously 17,000 so for me I will always say this I'm not going to be saying I 100% know what's going to happen next I don't 100% know what's going to happen next all I know are the levels to trade I know when there's an opportunity to make money and I know when I need to remain patient and e.g. not try and long here because I know it's going to go lower right or I think there's a very high probability same here once you've seen the reaction, take the trade. If I see a reaction, I'll take a trade. I know the levels to trade. I know where this high probability is, and that's what I'm sharing with you in these videos, right? That's what I'm sharing with you. See, there was a really nice comment that I, I saw the other day on this video that I wanted to also... Hello, everybody. I hope video. that you are doing... Oops. <laughs> wanted to give a shout out. It was on one of the latest videos, right? Uh, oh, yeah, this guy here. Just short of the whip from the bull trap. 69, 69 leverage to 20,168. Hopefully it breaks down. Dump it. And of course, it did break down. And, and he, of course, has made. I mean, it's, there was just so many people that made a lot of profit with me on that trade. It was, it was pretty nice to see, to be honest. So I'm very happy with that. I told you I'm going to be giving you one of my best videos I've given you. And how have I done that? I've done that by explaining exactly my thought processes, always putting my money where my mouth is, and then the understanding and reading of what's next. So, e.g., I want you to walk away with the insights and knowledge of I'm looking for a range to form next, right? I'm looking for a mini range to form here. Once that range gets a breakout, I know the next levels to be trading, the old daily, and then I'd be looking back up for a retest of the old triangle low if we reclaim that daily. Should we remain range bound here? We cannot reclaim the daily. I'll be looking once again down to just the last low for a swing fire pattern. If we don't get that, then I'm going to be looking down towards that $18,000, $17,000 region. Okay. So for me, it is a case of know the levels to trade, have the alert. If you see the reaction, e.g., what again, I'll end with this. I'm going to end with this and I want to wrap it up because this video has gone on a little bit too long. E.g., what's a reaction? I always say trade the reaction. This is, for example, a level we were ready and waiting for, right? Again, ready and waiting for it. There it is literally given on the champion's live stream. If you got a reaction, it means hit the level and reject. This is a reaction to short. If what is not a reaction, bam, straight through the level, no reaction. Again, let me just emphasize. Yesterday I posted, we're waiting for that. Swing for your pattern on the 30th of June low. So what do you do? This is the exact 30th of June low. Mark it out. And then... What's the reaction? No reaction is straight through the level and you close through it. What is a reaction here? Wick onto the level above. That's a reaction, right? That's a reaction. The two important levels that I gave over the past 48 hours to everybody in my team, they both got the most perfect reactions. What more could you want, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. All I'm just going to say is thank you ever so much. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, of course, you can smash that like button. If you want to see the analysis before everybody else, of course, this is for the champions. If you want those sort of heads up during the day as well, like this, that was what well, still before we were in the triangle, before that big drop to the downside, before that big drop to the downside, warning people about the bearish bias. Then that's, of course, over in the champions read only section here inside of the discord you also got the questions you got everything you could ever want the live streams the educational content the updates i mean you, you really couldn't need much more right now um and i'm just going to wrap it up there i'm going to say i hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video um thank you ever so much brilliant to see a load of people making a load of profit with me on that one as well brilliant to see as always and um you know at the end of the day you have to remember that this is um you know this is trading this is what we do i've been doing this 12 years of course i'm at a certain level and i'm here to share that knowledge and experience with you so thank you ever so much i'll catch you in the next video and i'll end with a disclaimer that of course none of this is financial advice this is just really simply um you know non-financial advice just an entertainment educational video only so thank you ever so much everybody hope you've enjoyed the non-financial advice video and if you want to learn more then i'll catch you over on the website cheers everybody thank you and have a brilliant week ahead Thank you, I love you, and goodbye.